Welcome back to Fitness Food Recipes. In this video, we'll dive deep into a health topic that affects millions worldwide. How doctors diagnose kidney stones. Kidney stones, these small hard mineral deposits that form inside your kidneys, are more common than you might think. They can cause sudden and intense pain that often leads individuals to seek emergency room care. In fact, there are over 1 million emergency room visits reported annually due to kidney stones. The importance of an early diagnosis of kidney stones cannot be overstated. It's the key to managing this condition effectively and reducing the risk of complications. Medical professionals play a pivotal role in this process, employing a variety of tests and procedures to accurately diagnose kidney stones. Rest assured, the information we're about to delve into is based on reliable sources and rigorous scientific research. It's not just about understanding the problem but also knowing how it's identified and tackled by those in the medical field. So, buckle up as we journey through the intricate process of diagnosing kidney stones. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Before we delve into the diagnosis, it's essential to understand what kidney stones are. Kidney stones, or renal lithiasis, are hard deposits made of minerals and salts that form inside your kidneys. They typically originate in your kidneys but can develop anywhere along your urinary tract which includes the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. Kidney stones can form when the concentration of substances like calcium, oxalate, and uric acid increase in the urine. When these substances become highly concentrated, they can crystallize and clump together to form stones. Dehydration, certain diets, and some medical conditions can increase the risk of kidney stone formation. There are several types of kidney stones, Calcium stones are the most common and are often in the form of calcium oxalate, which is naturally produced in the body and ingested through certain foods. Struvite stones form as a response to certain types of urinary tract infections. Uric acid stones can form in people who lose too much fluid due to chronic diarrhea or malabsorption, those with a high-protein diet, and those with diabetes or metabolic syndrome. Lastly, there are cysteine stones, which form in people with a hereditary disorder that causes the kidneys to excrete too much of certain amino acids. The presence of kidney stones might not always be obvious, they can range in size from a grain of sand to a golf ball. While small stones might pass unnoticed through the urinary tract, larger stones can cause a blockage, leading to intense pain, bloody urine, and other symptoms like nausea and vomiting. Knowing what kidney stones are is the first step towards understanding their diagnosis. Now that we know what kidney stones are, let's explore the first tool doctors use for diagnosis, imaging tests. These tests are the cornerstone of diagnosis, allowing physicians to peer into the body without needing to make a single incision. There are primarily three types of imaging tests used to diagnose kidney stones, CT scans, X-rays, and ultrasounds. CT scans or computed tomography scans use a series of X-ray images taken from different angles around your body and computer processing to create cross-sectional images of the bones, blood vessels, and soft tissues. They provide more detailed information than standard X-rays do, making them an invaluable tool in the diagnosis of kidney stones. Next up, we have the traditional X-rays. While not as detailed as CT scans, they are quick, safe, and can still effectively reveal the presence of larger stones. However, since smaller stones or those made of certain materials may not show up, X-rays are often used in conjunction with other tests. Lastly, we have ultrasounds. This non-invasive test uses high-frequency sound waves to produce images of the structures within your body. While they may not catch smaller stones as effectively as a CT scan, they have the advantage of not exposing patients to any radiation. So why are these tests so crucial? Well, they provide a complete picture of what's happening inside your kidneys. They can reveal the size, shape, and location of the stones, information that is vital in determining the best course of treatment. Additionally, imaging tests can uncover any complications caused by the stones, such as blockages or infections. But remember, while these tests are important, they don't tell the whole story. Other factors, such as a patient's symptoms, medical history, and results from urine and blood tests, are also considered in the diagnosis. Imaging tests play an integral role in diagnosing kidney stones but they are just one piece of the puzzle. Beyond imaging, doctors employ urine and blood tests to get a clearer picture of the situation. These tests are not just additional steps in the diagnostic process, but they play a crucial role in understanding the nature of kidney stones and the overall health of the patient. Firstly, let's talk about urine tests. 
There are three main types of urine tests that doctors usually recommend. The pH test, urinalysis with microscopy, and the 24-hour urine collection. The pH test is a simple yet effective way of determining the acidity or alkalinity of urine, which can help identify the type of kidney stone present. High acidity levels often indicate uric acid stones, while high alkalinity suggests struvite or cysteine stones. Next, we have urinalysis with microscopy. This test involves examining urine under a microscope to detect the presence of crystals or other substances that could form kidney stones. It's like a detective closely inspecting a crime scene for clues. The third type of urine test is the 24-hour urine collection. This test requires the patient to collect all urine produced in a 24-hour period. The collected sample is then analyzed for various substances that can cause kidney stones. It's a more comprehensive test that gives doctors a detailed understanding of what's happening inside the patient's body. Now let's move on to blood tests. Blood tests are important because they provide insights into the cause of kidney stones and future risk. They measure the levels of certain chemicals such as calcium and uric acid that can contribute to the formation of stones. High levels of these chemicals in the blood could indicate a higher risk of developing kidney stones in the future. Additionally, blood tests can reveal other health conditions that might be linked to kidney stones, such as hyperparathyroidism, a condition where the parathyroid glands produce too much hormone, leading to higher levels of calcium in the blood. Urine and blood tests are vital tools that provide a comprehensive view of a patient's health and the nature of their kidney stones. These tests not only assist in diagnosing kidney stones, but also guide doctors in formulating an effective and personalized treatment plan. Once a stone is passed, it can be analyzed. This analysis is key to preventing future kidney stones. Now let's dive into the fascinating world of stone analysis. It may sound a bit like a detective story, and in many ways it is. After all, we are trying to uncover the mysteries surrounding this tiny yet painful intruder. So what makes stone analysis so important? Well, different types of kidney stones are composed of various materials. These may include calcium, uric acid, struvite, and cysteine. By analyzing the specific composition of a past stone, doctors can pinpoint its type. This knowledge is incredibly crucial. Why, you ask? Because knowing the type of stone helps doctors understand why it formed in the first place. But it doesn't stop there. The information gathered from stone analysis doesn't just help us understand the past, it also guides us towards the future. It aids in creating a personalized treatment plan for the patient. That's right, you heard it correctly. Personalized. This tailor-made approach is not just about treating existing stones, it's about preventing new ones from forming. So how does this personalized plan look? Well, it could include dietary changes or medications depending on the type of stone. For instance, if the stone is made of calcium, the patient might need to avoid certain foods high in oxalates. If it's a uric acid stone, the treatment plan might involve medications to reduce uric acid levels. It's all about addressing the root cause and not just the symptom. It's essential to remember that each patient is unique, therefore it's not a one-size-fits-all situation. The treatment plan is designed to suit the individual's lifestyle, dietary preferences, and overall health, and that's the beauty of personalized treatment. These diagnostic steps culminate in the creation of a personalized treatment plan designed to manage and prevent kidney stones effectively. Diagnosing kidney stones is a complex process that relies on a variety of medical tests. We've journeyed through the stages of this process from understanding what kidney stones are to exploring the critical role of imaging tests in diagnosis. We've also delved into the significance of urine and blood tests and the importance of stone analysis in crafting personalized treatment plans. It's clear that early detection is key in managing kidney stones effectively and efficiently. Remember, every stone is unique and treatment should be tailored to the individual, just as every person's fitness journey is unique. Speaking of which, have you thought about kickstarting your own fitness journey? We have a tool that might help. Our calorie and protein calculator is designed to support you on your path to health and wellness. So let's continue the conversation. If you found this information useful, we would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Also, don't forget to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to know what happens to your body when you stop eating fast food, watch the video on your screen next.